Humans, like most animals and plants, reproduce sexually. This means that each individual is a new genetic combination from two different parents. This video will look at how sex is determined in humans, why some diseases are sex linked and so mostly affect males, and also look at some fertility treatments and how they could be of use to people with different fertility problems. There's a separate video on the menstrual cycle and how sperm and eggs are adapted to their role in sexual reproduction. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, inheriting one copy of each chromosome from each parent. The 23rd pair of chromosomes are called the sex chromosomes, and these determine whether someone is male or female. Females have a pair of identical chromosomes, both known as X, whereas males have one copy of this X chromosome and one copy of a Y chromosome. From this, we can see that when a woman produces eggs through meiosis, each egg must contain an X chromosome. However, when a male produces sperm through meiosis, half the sperm made will have an X chromosome and half the sperm will contain a Y chromosome. Depending on which sperm fertilizes the egg, the diploid zygote that's made will be either XX, creating a female baby, or XY to produce a male. There's the same probability of each of these happening, as it just depends on whether the sperm contains an X or a Y chromosome. In B1, we looked at how genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis and sickle cell disease are inherited through recessive alleles. Because these alleles are recessive, in order to get the disease, you need to inherit two copies of the allele making you homozygous. However, if a gene is found on the X chromosome rather than one of the other 22 found in human cells, we can now see that males will only have a single copy of the gene. This means they cannot be heterozygous for any gene found on the X chromosome, whereas of course females can as they have two X chromosomes. For this reason, there are certain inherited diseases, including colour blindness and haemophilia, that only very rarely affect females. They're much more common in males. Let's look at the inheritance of one of these diseases. If we have a healthy male and a female who's a carrier for colour blindness, the male is XY and the female is XX. On each of the X chromosomes is a gene that when damaged leads to colour blindness. If a male does not have colour blindness, his single copy of this gene must be the normal healthy allele. The female is a carrier, making her heterozygous, so she has one version of each allele. We can use a Punnett square to show the possible offspring that these parents can produce. Of course, there's a 50% chance of producing a male and 50% chance of producing a female baby. If they produce a female, then there's no chance they'll have colour blindness, as they must inherit the healthy allele from the father. If they have a son, there's a 50% chance of him having colour blindness, depending on which allele he inherits on the X chromosome from his mother. Sometimes, people struggle to conceive children naturally, and there are a range of different treatments available. The choice of which fertility treatment is most appropriate will of course depend on the nature of a problem. For example, if a male's sperm are not mobile enough to reach and fertilise the egg, IVF can be used where the sperm and egg are mixed together in a dish before successful embryos are implanted back into the woman. If a woman is not able to produce eggs for some reason, the eggs can be taken from another woman who has agreed to act as a donor. IVF can then be carried out using sperm from the first woman's partner. If the problem is that a woman's uterus is unable to support the growing baby, then a fertilised egg can be implanted into a surrogate mother who gives birth to the baby that genetically is not related to her. Finally, we saw in the video on the menstrual cycle how important a range of hormones are in controlling the fertility of a woman. It's possible for doctors to give a woman extra hormones to help her produce more eggs, increasing the chances of her having a baby. There are risks to all these treatments as you can see, with the most common one being an increased probability of having twins. So, sex in humans is determined by whether the sperm that fertilizes the egg contains an X or a Y chromosome. Because males only have a single copy of the X chromosome, it's not possible for them to be heterozygous for any gene located here. This is the reason for diseases such as haemophilia and colour blindness affecting far more males than females. We call these diseases sex-linked because the gene causing them is inherited on the sex chromosomes. 
If a couple are infertile, there are a range of treatments available. These each have some risks associated with them and it's important to find out what the problem is before a solution can be tried.